At the northeast edge of the Argolid Plain, in the heart of Argos, pastureland of horses, Mycenae was founded on a site that secured its resounding fame forever. Built on a low eminence between two precipitous mountains, Prophetus Ilias to the north and Syra to the south, with natural protection from enemies and intruders, Mycenae dominates the Argolid Plain and controls the land routes in all directions. Mycenae became the regulator of trade in Greece, and this is the reason for its remarkable wealth and artistic burgeoning, which ensured its primacy and lasting fame, for it gave its name to a great civilization, the Mycenaeans. One of the most impressive and most important monuments in the art of fortification is the megalithic main entrance to the citadel of Mycenae, known to all as the Lion Gate. The relief over the main gate is the earliest example of monumental sculpture in Europe. Two heraldic rampant lions, three meters high, above the massive lintel of the central entrance to the citadel of Mycenae. Very close to the Lion Gate, at the southeast end of the Granary Building and west of the Grand Staircase is the Grave Circle, which commemorates the glorious forebearers of the Mycenaean rulers, the tradition of the ruling lineages. A circular enclosure, visible today, consisting of a double row of upright slabs of sandstone and shelly limestone, encloses an area of 27.5 metres in diameter, which contains a cluster of shaft graves hewn deep down into the bedrock. The graves in the grave circle are known as shaft graves because they're in the form of large quadrilateral pits, ranging in size from 3 by 3.5 meters, the smallest, to 4.5 by 6.4 meters, the largest, and varying in depth from 1 to 4 meters. Their sides stand 0.75 to 1.5 meters from their foundation and were covered by low walls of rubble masonry. The buildings that have been named houses were probably not mere residences, but had various uses essential for the functioning of the system. Some of them housed high-ranking military and administrative officials with their families, as well as priests. Here is the zone of the House of the Warrior Vars. The views from this site are also greatly reputed, as it's surrounded by steep cliffs, mountains, the sea, and a countryside full of olive and orange groves. The circuit wall of the citadel of Mycenae was built in three phases and gradually encompassed the entire hill, a rocky height of 280 meters above sea level, virtually inaccessible on account of the wild natural environment. The citadel, which covers a surface area of 30,000 square meters, is surrounded by walls composed of huge boulders. According to Greek myth, the walls were built by the Cyclops, hence their name Cyclopean. The hill is only accessible from its west side, where the main entrance to the citadel was constructed with the magnificent Lion Gate.
In keeping with the natural landscape, as well as with its tragic tradition, the Palace of the Kings of Mycenae occupies the most prominent position in the citadel. Set on the summit of the wall-girt hill, it towered above all other human creations. Symbol of the power of the kings and of the political, social and economic system of the Mycenaean age, its location and its architecture are expressive of an ideology constructed around the person of the Wanax, which means king. The official apartments consist of the Megaron, the nucleus of the whole palace complex, the great court and the Xenon, which means guest room. The Megaron, the most formal of all the apartments, opens to the east of the court. The earliest traces of human presence at Mycenae date from the last phase of the Neolithic age. Remains of the fine Neolithic and of the early Helladic period of the citadel are scant. Continuous occupation of the site and successive building phases there have destroyed almost all the evidence of the early periods, except for a few sherds. The artisan's quarter was actually located by Seeger. During his excavation of the main site on the island, he camped on the shore opposite it and observed a number of remains in the vicinity, some of which might, he believed, be related in one way or another to the settlement on the island. Ever since Heinrich Schliemann began digging at the ancient Greek site of Mycenae in 1876, generations of archaeologists have worked to uncover the spectacular remains of a Bronze Age superpower that gave its name to a whole civilization. The Mycenaeans were not a single people, but disparate groups united by a shared culture that stretched all over Greece and dominated the Aegean in the late Bronze Age, from about 1600 to 1100 BC. After Schliemann, the excavation was continued by the Greek Archaeological Society, first under Stamatakis and then under Suntas. From 1920 to 23, and in 1939, the British School of Athens, under the directorship of Alan Wace, conducted an extensive excavation and made significant contributions to the chronology. After the Second World War, the excavations were continued by the British School, and from 1958 by the Greek Archaeological Society, led by George E. Milonas. Mycenaean fortification walls tend to be built along the edge of a sharp change in elevation in the local topography, so that the masonry of the wall combines with the natural contours of the site to create an even more formidable obstacle for would-be attackers. The walls are usually founded in extremely shallow beddings carved out of the bedrock. The architectural remains visible today, as well as the excavations, have shown that although the hill was inhabited in the early Helladic and the middle Helladic period, it was fortified for the first time and transformed into a citadel during the third phase of the late Helladic period. The building of the citadel began in the mid-14th century. It underwent several alterations and acquired its final form, which it preserves today, in the late 13th century BC. This ancient underground fountain is 18 metres deep. The 
Fountain Complex is an admirable achievement of Mycenaean technology. The North Gate is a replica of the Lion Gate in miniature. Built in the same period, it was opened in a setback at the north branch of the Cyclopean Wall, dating from the first phase of the 45 cent of Mycenae. It's protected on one side by a bastion, which was added exactly opposite the old branch of the wall. Made of almond stone, it's 6.54 metres long and 3.25 metres wide. Its opening consists of four breccia monoliths, just like the Lion Gate, the only difference being that there's no relieving triangle above the lintel. The monuments located in the immediate vicinity of the citadel fall into two basic groups. The tomb of Clytemnestra is the most recent of the eight Tolos tombs in Mycenae. The Tolos tomb of Clytemnestra is one of the later tombs of Mycenae, built between 1300 and 1220 BC. The vaulted burial chamber, 13.5 metres in diameter, was destroyed when the tomb was rifled. In the course of restoration works on the monument in 1951, the grave circle was discovered and excavated. The Clytemnestra tomb was covered with earth in Hellenistic times. Clytemnestra was the wife of Agamemnon. The dromos, 37 metres long and 6 metres wide, is reveted with conglomerate orthostats. The tomb of Aegisthus is considered to be one of the earliest Tholos tombs at Mycenae, built around 1500 BC. It has a long, narrow dromos, and its walls are of rubble masonry. The Mycenaean Tolos tomb consists of a circular subterranean burial chamber, sometimes referred to as a thalamos, roofed by a corbelled vault and approached by a dromos, an entrance passage, that narrows abruptly at the stormio, the doorway, opening into the tomb chamber. UNESCO declared Mycenae a World Heritage Site in 1999, 